just put it together and try to make it sound right. Like you were there, like you have actual, um, yeah, none of that shit happened. Like you have actual first-hand information when like you was there. That's what Sub-Zero did. You know what he did? He combined two separate incidents and told y'all a story. All right, you already know where you at and who you rocking with, right? All right, so let's get to it then. Check it out, man. Um, I'm going to freestyle this one, you feel me? You figure, deal me? I'm going to freestyle this one, man. I, I got a, a lot of blowback from the Gully TV Told No Lies video, which I stand by. He told no lies. You heard what I'm talking about? But before I get into that Gully thing, I want to talk to y'all about the comments, man. I got some comments from some people, and I'm going I'm to I'm go over a few of them. You heard? This one says... I do no factual Harlem Alpo stories when they not from New York. It's got to stop with the lies and theories. Not say Sub-Zero accurate. Saying not saying Sub-Zero accurate, but I believe him. He from that hood. Just saying. Dig this here, man. It's comments like that that he's banking on to make his bankroll, to make his money. So you'll go to his Patreon and watch his Alpo stories that he learned from somebody else and just regurgitate it out of his mouth and put a little uh, uh, background music and, and, and a theme to it. That's what he's banking on. You feel me? Comments like that. And for you, for you, homeboy, everything that I said about Harlem and, and, and Alpo has been verified by the man himself, doggy. Everything that I said dating back to before I put out any Alpo audio has been verified, if not by him, by somebody close, close to the situation or maybe a Miss T, a Glaze or somebody like that. So miss me with the hot dudes, no this and that. I got it from the horse's mouth, doggy. You heard? All right. The other, the other comment up under that says Sub-Zero really lived in Alpo's hood, First Avenue. Nobody's disputing that. Nobody's disputing where he lived, what he did, and none of that other stuff. You feel me? But that doesn't mean he's telling the truth. That doesn't mean he didn't lie because he lived on First Avenue where Alpo was or whatnot. Let's get to this last comment, man. Uh, this is a pretty nifty comment right here. Gully and everybody else information is false is how this comment starts. Pause, nigga. As I just told Dog. Everything that I said has been verified by the man himself or corrected by the man himself. So miss me with the everybody. You must be talking about sub, talking about everybody information is soft. He says Sub-Zero practically watched Alpo as a kid. And how is he making it up when Alpo says it out his mouth? Like, what are y'all YouTubers talking about? What did Alpo say out his mouth? That he know dog? He said he know Ronald. What, what are we talking about? That's what he said. I, I caught him on the back street. That's what he said out of his own mouth. He said it to me, doggy. So what are you talking about? Then he says, I think all of y'all are just trying to clout chase at this point. The man is dead, allegedly, and life goes on. All of y'all are low-key fascinated and obsessed with Alpo. Well, so are you, homeboy, because you came to give your opinion. And guess what brought you to the goddamn on thread? It was Alpo. Alpo being Alpo subject matter brought you. So you're low key obsessed and you're low key a fan too. I had to get that off. Man. I had to get that off, man. Stop playing, man. Stop playing and picking and choosing size and nigga. If you dig Sub Zero more than you dig me, cool. If you dig Gully more than you dig me, cool. If you dig Sub Zero more than Gully, if you dig Gully more than Sub Zero, cool. Nobody cares. I don't. You feel me? I'm getting to the root of it. It's about the truth. And the truth of the matter is, dog is a peach emoji. You heard? Ronald is a peach emoji. And not only is he a peach emoji, he's a liar, dog. He's a liar. He's been caught in numerous lies. And he just lied about the, the Alpo situation. You heard? Gully wasn't lying, like I said before. Ask yourself this, man. Why nobody can, uh, can attest to this dude's accounts of information? Huh? Randy Love. Randy Love told him to stop lying. Stop making up stories on me. Stop saying things about me. He sent him a cease and desist from prison. Ask DJ Dollar Bill. Shout out to DJ Dollar Bill. You feel me? Shout out to Carl, man. Rest in peace to Carl. Shout out to them dudes, them real dudes. You know what I'm saying? Ask a, why can't nobody... Okay, okay, Sub-Zero lied about 
Randy Love cutting Alpo's coat up. Why can't nobody account for that? You mean Mel Maxi don't know nothing about that? You mean many, many black don't know nothing about that? And none of them other Harlemites don't know nothing about that. You feel me? Nobody can, can, can jack that. Nobody can vouch for that. But him. That's what he's banking on. He's banking on the fact that dudes like these dudes that left these comments and he lived there. He know what he's talking about. And this and that and other. That is what he's banking on, dog. You feel me? But that's cool. You feel I ain't knocking this hustle. If that's what it takes for him to get on, that's what it takes for him to get on. I ain't knocking it. You heard? But he lied about that. You heard? He lied about what happened with DJ Dollar Bill. He lied about what happened with Carl, man. These are all lies that we've caught him in on his broadcast. On his broadcast. You feel me? Now, what about this? Let's talk about this. I played the lie for y'all at the beginning of the other video, but y'all didn't catch it. Y'all didn't catch it, so cool. We're going to do it like this, man. Alpo's only known blood association was to the UBN before, before, before any of this, right? Nobody was talking about Alpo's generation was before the Bloods even came. The Bloods and Crips even got came to New York City low key. So, you know, him coming home and being around some Bloods, yeah, that's that's a possibility. And this and that and other, that's cool. Him knowing Bloods, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But being one or anything like that and them associating themselves with him in such a way, ask yourself this. Why, why wasn't nobody talking about the United Blood Nation when, 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 when Alpo was alive and running around with Paparazzi Po? Because that's his claim to the Bloods, right? As far as anybody knew, that was his claim to the bloods, right? This is what I'm saying. Gully was right that Ronald, Sub-Zero, whatever you want to call him, he mixed two, two stories together trying to make something work. And here's the proof. Alpo. We gonna get on Alpo. Yo, shout out my girl, baby. I love you. I'm, I, listen, I gotta talk about it. I gotta bring it up. I'm sorry if, 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 if I put, but fuck that. I'm about to fire all them up. My, my, my girl's baby father, Charlie C, is a mag bull of blood. Okay, what that mean? He's a mag bull of blood that Jack kill all rats. The mag bull of niggas Jack kill all rats. What that mean? Let me talk about it. Nigga had a baby shower. Okay. Nigga had a baby shower last August, I, I believe. Alpo pose at the baby shower. Alpo pose at the baby shower. How you know? Yo, what? Yo, what's up? Yo, y'all got shots? Yo, yo, bro, pull me a shot. You know what nigga was doing? I swear to my mother, and I heard this. Look, look, they was pouring out for a shot. Yo, bro, you good, bro? Yo, bro, you good? Yeah, yeah. Go check out. Now, you can be naive all you want to. I just told you he listened to Alpo stories and put out stories on his Patreon uh, 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 and animate them or whatnot. You mean to tell me that he didn't listen to 6 9 talk about the Mac Ball of Bloods and Poe being at a birthday party and this and that and the other and mix that situation up with the Jim Jones situation? Is that what you're going to sit here and tell me? If you do, you're naive, you're in denial. Or maybe you just that big a fan. Either way it go, just like I put in the thumbnail, I got proof that Gully told the truth, man. Peace to the gods and earths. Till we meet again. What you thought, nigga? You said on site. What's good? I got my hands in my jacket. The nigga just swings a sucker punch. So you see me stutter back. This bum ass nigga go on the internet, edit the footage, and try to put it in slow mo. What kind of cell phone app is that? Who ever seen the cell phone app that you put a nigga in slow mo? Now you notice if you watch the footage, my shit is only in slow mo. So this bum ass nigga went slow mo the footage and took out the part when I had him on the glass beating him down. That's my Brooklyn shit, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, no here, no there. So anyway, after I beat his ass, he's standing there with the super duper eye jammy.